as of today uh, the approach is very clear that when the employee comes in we we need to educate them in terms of how important this pension contribution would be at this point of time as an employer we are not even looking at employee level contribution or salary sacrifice but gradually we'll have to educate them and see that how this so it's going to be a two pronged approach one would be to make them uh, aware that they need to contribute and the second phase would be to increase the contribution so it's going to be a two step process for us as an employer and that's where uh, gradually we will see that you know the uh, the apprehensions would come in where they will have to slightly increase and by then the lifetime isa would also be there so they'll probably see that where is the better off uh, where am i better off being put, putting my money in lifetime isa or should i be and today the opt out ratio i agree is very minimal because as an employer it's completely employer contribution as of date but slowly when we start tapping into employees contribution that's when the opt out ratio is where we we'll need to really analyze that what's the kind of a trend that we are seeing and that would probably determine our next step to how we want to actually give them the option of investments at workplace We've, we've started doing financial education workshops with our staff, but when I think about um, what that's, the relative cost of that, the number of staff which we've actually put through it, and the number of staff that we still have to educate, I think that's where I'm thinking about um, what we said about return on investment and being able to measure the cost. So at the moment, we've started offering financial education, but it's, it's a drop in the ocean of what we need to do really going forward. And I think there's a big piece about understanding um, the return on investment, but also cast, getting everyone's buy-in, getting the senior team's buy-in, getting the manager's buy-in, so that we can cascade that knowledge down and basically everybody understands how important it is. You know, we're right at the beginning of this journey and I'd be really interested to talk to you actually about you know, the, the scheme you're very proud of actually and what that uh, constitutes. Um, we do almost no education at all. We pretty much point people at the, at the provider mm -hmm. and the provider's website and uh, say, go there. You know, these, these people are the experts in your scheme. Mm -hmm. If there are decisions that you'd, you'd you know, like to consider and, and make in relation to um, the things that you can change around that scheme, then, then go there. And we do get questions and we field them, but we do sound advice pretty much straight to the provider. And it's not good enough. I mean, I'm really clear that it's not good enough and that we need to have a financial education solution. Mm -hmm. Um, we are beginning the journey of identifying what that needs to be like and what kind of tools we need, what we think would be appropriate. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's early days, um, but the, the, the context is that we, um, you know, our DB scheme is um, heading towards uh, final closure and uh, we're going to have the, the DC scheme will be front and centre. So we're looking at a campaign of involvement um, or increasing involvement as our sort of first solution. And while we're sort of getting people aware, I think that's just raising awareness that that'll be our, our first sort of leap. Um, we'll then be thinking about um, how we can start a much more interactive education program. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's going to constitute now. I was talking earlier about, you know, I'd like to be able to specify um, out to the industry, you know, that, that I, I want a solution because we're not experts, we need to engage experts, but it's got to be affordable and it's got to be accessible. They're probably the two watchwords, I think, of, of what the financial education solutions need to be. And, I mean, Jonathan, from your point of view, if you're, if you're talking to employers about what they should be thinking about when embarking on a financial education strategy, what, in terms of maybe segmentation, is it about age, is it about life stage, is it about location? I mean, what, what would you say is a really solid starting point? I mean, I think age can work as a bit of a proxy, but, but really it's live stage and, and people need to self-select for that because, of course, people, you know, you don't know that people are going to buy a house, their first house in their 20s or their 30s or indeed their 40s, whereas, you know, other people could, you know, by their 40s could have grown up children. So, so age... You can to a point, but really it's live stage that yeah. you've got to look at because when you look at the benefit provision and what they're likely to do, it will be dictated by ultimately their own personal situation. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of the programmes that we put together, okay, we look at we look at the profile of, of the employees as a whole. So, you know, is it an ageing workforce? Is it a young workforce? Because that's going to dictate to a certain extent um, uh, where the, the weighting, if you like, is going to be put in, any, in, in, in that programme. Um, 
but it will also dictate um, uh, what the delivery mechanism is potentially as well, because depending on what profile of business it is, you know, are these people that work in head offices? Are these people that that, that work in factories on production lines? Are they people that that, that you know drive up and down the motorway for for a living? You know, what do they? Because that will all you know that will go go back to actually, well, what how how are you going to deliver that education? Mm -hmm. And then to Guy's point, you know, there's a question mark uh, then around the price of that as well, because you know there are there's a menu of options if you like, and and they don't all cost the same. So 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 there's there's almost like a matrix of considerations going from the life stage to the working environment to what might the delivery be, and therefore what might the cost be. That all has to be considered to to to, to make sense of this. So really in summary for me it's 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 every organization let alone the individuals every organize, organization is is different and programs need to be designed for that organization based on their profile of staff